The last month of summer is off to a wet start. Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team tracks what weather we can expect. Well, we are heading into a bit of a downturn for the summer high temperatures, but let's take a look at our monthly temperature outlook issued by the National Weather Service just to see what this month has in store. Now, these are our temperatures on what we're looking at compared to the average. So all the red spots are going to be above average, and we have a lot of them, especially going towards the west. A very ver warm center right around Utah, Las Vegas, Denver, Arizona, and we do have a bit cooler conditions in the middle of the country, but the East Coast also looking at well above average temperatures expected. If we take a closer look at the Northeast, we can see we are expected to be well above the average. And of course, it just happens to be the southern half of New England. The northern half should see pretty near average temperatures for this time of year and our monthly precipitation outlook. Now this is for the month of August as we've just started. So we are looking at some drier spots, mainly in the Northeast and the central uh, southern portion of the country. We're talking Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana to name a few states, but we do have the East Coast looking a lot wetter and the Midwest, more of the northern portion of the Midwest and the Plains. If you take a closer look at New England, we are expecting slightly above average temp uh, precipitation outlooks in terms of rainfall totals. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to have more or less days of rain. Like we've been seeing a lot of pretty consecutive days of rain and we're expecting more this week. But we just in terms of totals above average, if not pretty close to the average. Working for you, I'm Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team.